Good morning, sober friends. This is One Sober to Another. I'm Wayne, and I'm an alcoholic. Today's daily reflection for November 23rd, 2020. Hold your face to the light. Let's go. Before we dive into it, folks, if you didn't get a chance to check out last night's video, One Sober to Another Talks AA with Daniel E., give it a look because he had some very insightful things to say as well as his story in a rigorous honest way i think that a lot of you will get some value from it and just give it a shot the worst case scenario you watch it and you're like hmm i already did all that but something else resonates with you without further ado let's do this hold your face to the light believe more deeply Hold your face up to the light, even through for the moment you do not see. As Bill sees it, page three. One Sunday in October, during my morning meditation, I glanced out of the window at the ash tree in the front yard. At once, I was overwhelmed by its magnificent golden color. As I stared in awe at God's work of art, the leaves began to fall, and within minutes, the branches were bare. Sadness came over me as I thought of the winter months ahead. But just as I was reflecting on autumn's annual process, God's message came through. Like the trees stripped off their leaves in the fall, sprout new blossoms in the spring. I had had my compulsive, selfish ways removed by God in order for me to blossom into a sober, joyful member of Alcoholics Anonymous. Thank you, God, for changing the seasons and forever changing my life. Well, that is deep. Check it out, folks. I, too, have experienced certain things in this kind of manner. You know, I, I was walking along the other day and I... I had saw some things, you know, in process as far as, you know, the turning of the season, you know, with, uh, there's a red tree in the parking lot where I work and the leaves only turn red in between the transition between uh, summer and fall. And it's so amazing how red and bold the leaves on this tree are. I was just, stuck staring at this tree probably for about 10 minutes and I had meant to take a picture I had my phone in the uh, in the store and so I wasn't able to do it but even at that same time I can relate with Bill you know one of the co-founders of Alcoholics Anonymous in that there is an amazement at how the process of creation works and how Things go from one thing to the next in the blink of an eye and within seconds. Well, for me, I spent 23 years really in a drunken haze and I couldn't see past the trees at all. And I rarely recognized the transition from summer to fall and from fall to spring at all. I didn't glance and, and see beauty and I didn't hear joy and you heard that right i didn't hear joy and i didn't you know see happiness and it took a lot for me to have that transition effect for it to occur and as i meditate now and as i practice the principles of alcoholics anonymous in in my program in my recovery and you may not that's okay you know i have to be able to hear what's going on because the compulsion that I had and the obsession with alcohol for it to be gone is a magnificent proof of my higher power. Now that doesn't have to be your thing necessarily people. You don't have to believe in what I believe in. You don't have to, you know, see things the way that I see them, but miracles actually happen. And through all the chaos of, of life and through all the you know, unknowns and uncertainties, I know for a fact that my higher power exists because, you know, it's, it's 
it's a wonder that I'm sober now and that I'm able to talk to you guys on a normal basis here on One Sober to Another and experience other people's stories just as my own and that they are now stories. You know, they're not locked in the past, but they're not my present either. My story is one of very unhappiness and, and very traumatic and very rocky. And you're able to look that up on the channel. You know, I'll go ahead and throw that card above. Check it out if you want to. Um, but for, for me to be sitting here is, is definite proof of a miracle. And I am able to hold my face to the light and I'm able to feel the warmth and I'm able to receive joy and happiness and to live without the obsession of alcohol. And that is an amazement. Now, if you had watched um, earlier or if you follow me on Instagram at one sober to another or even on, on Reddit or Twitter, you know, I posted something about Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse went through alcoholism like I have never seen. And as a matter of fact, every time I see her documentary and her movies and her, uh, or her movie and her stage performances and everything else, her deterioration was something so fast and so rapid and so, um, I, I don't even know the word for it, but consuming, I'll say, there was no way that she was able to catch it and no way that it was gonna, that train was gonna stop unless it hit a wall. And unfortunately for her, it did. And what I had mentioned was, is that as her situation, as her alcoholism and disease took her and devoured her, and it sounds very bad, but it was, you know, and if you watch her performances, you can see how they transition. But for me, I was headed down the same path and my life and my transition was going quite the same way to where you could actually watch through time my deterioration and the way that my behavior had changed, the way that my, uh, my upkeep and, you know, my house and my daily performance, my occupation, everything was fading away so fast. And for me to be able to sit here right now and hold my face to the light and talk to you and know that my higher power is with me and the obsession of alcohol is removed is something magnificent. That's all I can really say is it, it's magnificent. And, and if you look here, well, okay, you can't really look here, but if you just listen for a second, God's message came through. Like the trees stripped off their leaves in the fall, sprout new blossoms in the spring. That is true. You have to, or I have to tear away at the baggage and at the resentments and at the um, burdens and everything else that I'm holding on to so tightly. I have to be able to discard those and I have to be able to deal with those up front in order to progress in my sobriety. And my new leaves have to spring, you know, they have to sprout. And that's what I take away from today's daily reflection. If you have any other comments or you have anything that you wanna drop below, you know what to do. Drop that like, drop a comment so someone else can get something from this. The more likes that are in these videos, no poopies that's the more it circulates and that's the more people who get to hear it and that's the more people who get to have some of my experience strength and hope because that's all i do here folks and um once over to another that's some stuff to chew on and i hope you drop some comments because someone else is going to benefit from it once over to another i'm wayne and i'ma see you in the next one life's a garden dig it folks bye bye